Hi, uh, this is going to be a quick update video from my YouTube downloader source code. The old version doesn't work anymore, um, so I'm just going to show you how to tweak the code uh, in order to get it working again. Um, you can download the code under my most recent, like, previous video that has to do with uh, YouTube downloader. Uh, it's in the video description. So you can just download that and then apply these tweaks to it and it, you should be able to get it working again. So um, what we need to change is first thing is YouTube added recently a signature to each video download link for some reason. So we have to handle that and then we also have to change um, this we have to tweak some of this uh, here because um, type and quality isn't really relevant to it anymore. So what we want to do first is we want to go to URL and change it to 26 URL equals. Um, that prevents it from getting URLs to other, like I think they're for ads and other random things, but um, pretty much every, well, every URL that starts with a 26 is an actual video download link so you change that to that then um, I'm gonna just remove this type thing because it's not really necessary and I'm gonna replace it with I tag um, and then I'll show you more info on that later and then the quality I'm gonna replace that with sig which is what I'm gonna use for the signature uh, so I'm also gonna rename the variables just to make it consistent up here and down here and there okay so I think for this sub that's pretty much it um, then you just have to go to um, well you can change this too it's not really necessary but um, if you want to make it make more sense you change this to signature um, and then up here uh, you want to add append the signature onto the end of the URL so right in here we want to do and and sig signature equals um, and then we want to do and um, and then we want to get the signature from that other column that we just changed so it's going to be lst vids um dot yeah selected items and then hold on, let me scroll over selected items zero dot sub items dot item and then finally um I think one one or two I'll try it with two that should work I think and then dot text okay so that should do it so let's execute alright it's running uh, let me get a link copy and paste load okay yeah I think it's working so um I just test it to make sure it's working uh, 34 I think was the correct one I'll show you information on that later download uh, let me just put in B thing save yes and there it goes. So that's how you fix it. 
Um, now there are other ways you. Um, wait, is it actually? I'm not positive it's working. Let me just check. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's just really slow. Um, let me cancel that. Alright, whatever, that doesn't matter, you can fix that on your own, as long as it's working. Um, so yeah, uh, there, if you didn't notice, there's also a, um, under the eye type, these things, um, those are each associated with the quality of video, um, and for convenience, I'm not going to do it in this video, but, um, there is a way that you can just determine which code equals what type of video quality and audio quality. If you go to um, Wikipedia, right here, um, they have a page right here. It's under, um, well, it's, hold on, let me move this. Ooh, it's dropping a lot of frames. Okay, but this is the link right up here. And under that link, they um, they show you, I'll just put that in the description. They show you what each code is. So if the I type um, equals 5, then it's an FLV, 240p, all that. And then along the right-hand side here, they give you um, the MP3 and the kilobits per second of it. Um, so if you are like planning on making an actual uh, MP3 converter or something using this code, um, you could look at what is the actual bandwidth uh, or kilobits per second of that video quality. Um, as you can see, uh, it never goes higher than 192. So any video downloader that offers you options higher than one, uh, 192 kilobits per second um, MP3 is bullshit. You're just wasting space. So you 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 don't really need anything higher than 192 for your conversion but anyway yeah so this is the chart that shows you all that information so you just need to in the code here you just need to check like if i type equals well it would actually it would be it would probably be in here somewhere but you just check like if i type equals whatever number then uh display like MP4 uh, 320 or not 320 but like 192 kilobits per second or whatever you need to so um, I think that pretty much covers it um, if there's anything I missed or if it's still not working for some reason for you um, just post a comment I, I am going to start checking them more often now I kinda went like I kinda didn't haven't been doing that for a while so um, yeah, so thanks for watching.